Hi, Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use gradients with channels and use them in separate channels. And I'm going to be using them in 32 bit color mode. So I'm just first go over here to image and mode and set to 32 bits per channel. Now, what you can do then, just go over to the channels here. If you can't see that, that's window and channels. Just select the channel, just check there, and then go to the gradient tool. Now these gradients are graphic extras gradients. You can see them there. Now these ones are available on the graphic extras site, about 32,000 of them. Of course, there's many others available on the web as well, which you can use, or ones you can create. Now, going to select that. You can use different blending modes. Now, none of some of the modes are not available in 32-bit, but difference is, which is probably one of the better ones, for creating unusual color effects. So there, just apply it just there in that. And of course, you don't have to use the same gradient. You can actually go to another gradient, and just select that. And you can use different, go for linear or angle, and then go to the other channel. And you can see the actual result just there. You can just modify the panel options. Just go panel options. You can select the biggest one. Sadly, there's no custom one, so you can actually make it very large. It'd be nice if you could, but uh, sadly, that's as big as it gets. You can apply it that way, that way, and then blue channel. And, and again, you see the results over there. Now, at this point, I'm going to stop, but what you can do also, you can actually just go, say, to the green channel and you can apply effects. There's things such as the camera raw filter. Not all of the filters are available in 32-bit, but a fair number of them. So once you've actually done that, you can actually modify and change. Though, sadly, that's not updated there until you actually process it. So Some of the features are not actually available as well. So you've got here... Temperature and tint are not available in 32-bit. So obviously if you're using this in 8-bit, there's more settings. So click OK. And of course there's other filters as well. Right, so once you've actually done that, once you've decided that's what you want, then you've got that design there. So of course you can continue, maybe save this to the uh, CC libraries so you can use it in future projects. But if, what you can do then, if you want to put it back to 8-bit, you can just quickly go to mode and 8 bits per channel and you can get subtle changes just by using the HDR toning and finish and you've got a lovely smooth really lovely gradient that's uh, well probably a bit more complex than would be just if you could just create a gradient just in one channel hope you found this of interest thank you much